I love those. They're beautiful. They have details that I love. they're really worth it that's what we're going to discuss today so welcome to my channel as you guys know on this channel sustainability matters and we embrace imperfect sustainability so I'll leave you some tips here or here on how you could be imperfectly sustainable so today it's it's a quickie we're going to do a quickie it's hot and i really don't want to scare you too much because yeah i'm not wearing any makeup except lipstick because today it's hot it's hot 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 and this is polyester but because i've decided to wear it to death it looks like it's gonna it looks like it wants to be the one to get at me first before I get at it but that is exactly the point today so in the past I used to do a couple videos where I would often go on maybe a fast fashion brand well mainly Zara and I will share with you the, the good the bad and the ugly so that you don't go shopping unnecessarily oftentimes there are pieces that many youtubers rave about so to help you save money and so that you know that the piece you're buying is something substantial something with longevity something with versatility my goal for those types of videos is essentially to bring to light that you should focus on fabric fit and your style so there are a number of items that of course many youtubers just rave about one of the most popular ones and I'm not going to lie. It really piqued my interest. And because it did grab my attention, I decided to go for it because I did put on a bit of weight. So my pants don't fit as they used to anymore. So until I get back to my size, I wanted to try, guess what? The Frankie shop gelso pants oh, everybody raved about it if you go on youtube it's everybody the frankie shop or there's another one so these are the frankie shop pants and like everything else it has its issues this pants it came with the zipper refuses see it re it refuses to stay flat either this way or that way see that's how it is it just refuses to move so <laughs> here i am scared oh it's going down let's see oh it's back it's back up yeah here i am being scared to actually even try the pants on and guys yeah yeah but I have to try it on right first up the first observation is that it's very lightweight that's because the material is essentially not as sturdy as I expected it to be. Yeah. So it's not as sturdy as I expected it to be. And while that is great to some sense, I find that 
I was expecting it to be a bit more substantial. Why? Why? I have another black pants and honestly, I love that detail. That's a cute detail. But it's an expensive pair of pants and I really don't know based on the fact that it's already giving issues the zipper it's not running smoothly I have an issue with these type of zippers because they don't last they get ruined hey it's done oh but it's not staying down it's still it's still it's still up so when you close the pants it has that bulk right there and it's not fun the style I absolutely love but I must admit I am a bit disappointed with the quality not in terms of fabric but in terms of yeah it's not substantial at all it's not weighty as I expected it to be when it arrived in that tiny little box I'm like oh 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 yeah so I love the style I love the fabric but it's not enough wool the percentage of wool to the percentage of tensile yeah they could do better and I really wanted to love it I actually bought two pairs because I really wanted to love it and I wanted to believe the people that I follow but it's 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 not as great honestly it's not it's it's very light it's, it's very light like if you throw it up in the sky see it didn't just vom it's take some time to get back down that in itself shows you how light it is while that is good for some it's not that great for me I like my wool some may say they're not seeing through it but I am I can see through it it's not that it's very transparent but for a nice pair of pants at that price with no lining I really really expected it to be much better than this I'm not gonna lie to you I have been really thinking about whether or not I should give the Frankie shop pieces a chance Hence the reason why I am trying the beige version on for you today. I like to give a brand a chance to prove themselves to me. And yes, you might say, but you're sustainable and you're not supposed to be buying from a fast fashion brand. I do, but not often. And when I do, I always consider fabric, fit, and style. That way, I send a message to the fast fashion brand that I, as a consumer, this is what I'm demanding. Because you do have the power to dictate what is being sold to you. But because you don't pay attention to fabric, you just accept what is being offered because it is bundled or marketed in a pretty way don't be fooled by all that glitters even if this fabric is really really good that it's all natural or it's biodegradable those are the key things I look for if I do shop fast fashion because we all know that these days every brand right now almost 99% of brands they're all fast fashion yeah 
and they don't stack up well on the good on you app so my strategy is not to tell you don't go buy fast fashion avoid it if you could but if you do do not buy often consume less as my sustainable tip says and when you do buy intentionally buy mindfully only for what you need not to be blinded by the marketing strategies because even the luxury brands these days that i thought initially had great quality and were not necessarily considered fast fashion yeah they are heavily and i mean heavily involved in the fast fashion business model so yeah so yeah this is what it looks like on at least this i'll try it with my shoes yeah i'm not gonna lie this is a piece that would fit really well into my wardrobe the fit and the style but it's the fabric why is it not as weighty as i expected it to be i really wanted it to be weighty <sighs> Feel the blood creeping up from the heathen sky. Oh well, yeah, this is what it looks like. The black one is the same style, so it fits the same. So Feel got fight, got pride, got reason. If they wanna go eat I would say stick to linen, stick to your yeah, hundred percent wool. There are some wool that are hundred percent but not heavy so you could wear them in both summer as well as winter i am not as impressed as they really rave to be i'm telling you the way they go on and on about ah oh, the girls of pants it's so great and where was i living without these before and Oh my God, I'm gonna have one in every color because it's so great. Yeah, not for me. So I wanted to flag them. So for me, it begs the question, is the Frankie shop, girls of pants, really what all the rave Really? Is it worth being influenced to buy? For me, not really. But I could see how it could be perfect for some others, but not for me. The weight bothers me a lot. The feel of it also bothers me. So touch slash feel and weightiness of the fabric for such money. If I had just made my first million or if I have a million dollars, if I have a lot of disposable income, maybe but I would still consider the fact that it's my hard-earned money. Sorry for the noise. They're working outside. But, yeah, honestly, I don't know if it's worth it for me. But, you do you. And I'm just trying to help. I'm just trying to give you my perspective. You're giving me yours, so I'm giving you mine. So, yeah. Hope you have learned something. Hope you're inspired. And I'll see you soon. Take care. Also, when it comes to those other pieces of really, really premium prices, 
I also get intrigued. I do. And I love quality stuff. So, I bought this. This is a piece that's perfect for my work wardrobe. Absolutely love, love it. At the same time, guys. And you know I'm gonna feed him if you're coming for me. Hope you're ready for a demon. I got eyes in the back of my head. I'm 